Warning the following infomercial and campaign ad with the countless amounts of BS and lies contains the whole case is fake. The judge is corrupt. The Biden inflation tax. Biden's donors are the ones that are against Israel. Story after story by Hannity Turley Dershowitz. The city is going to hell. Our poll numbers are the highest they have been. Every legal expert came out and said there is no crime. This is all coming out of Washington. It's a scam. The only reason the stock market is up is because I'm leading in the polls. If I wasn't, there would be a crash like 1929. AKA as a pile of shit. Switch off now if you wish. amazing actually it was amazing everybody can say whatever they want they can say whatever they want but i'm not allowed to say anything about anybody uh, it's a disgrace and you see it the media sees it and uh, it's really very sad if you look at the legal experts and the legal scholars every one of them say this trial is a scam it's a, it's something that have never happened by the way it could have happened seven years ago they bring it right during the election Nobody sees that. Nobody talks about it. This should have been seven years ago. It shouldn't have been brought. But if it was going to be brought, it should have been brought seven years ago. And, you know, we're talking about 2016. We're talking about something goes back to charge of uh, 2006. Think of it. We're talking about 2016. We're taking, talking about a charge that's 18 or 19 years old. It's all fake. The whole case is fake. The judge is corrupt. And the only thing he gives us is to make him look a little bit good. He gives us nothing. Now, what he just did now is a joke. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. So I just want to mention uh, right here, Biden made a claim that inflation under Trump was 9 percent. What it wasn't, it was a tiny fraction, it was 1.4 percent and actually going down. We had essentially almost no inflation. But we had 9% inflation, and that's a fake number because not everything was included with Biden. And if you add it all up, I think it's a 50% inflation tax. I call it the Biden inflation tax. So he lies, and he lies about everything, including his golf game, because he can't hit a ball. He can't hit a ball 100 yards. Uh, lies about everything, but uh, he came out, and I saw that this... Uh, Last couple of days, he was talking about the Trump inflation was nine. No, his inflation was nine percent. That's a tax on the American people due to gross incompetence, and it was all started because of his energy policies, his stupid Green New Deal energy policies. And you wait and see. If if we don't win this nation, this nation is finished. You wait and you see what would happen, because all of that stuff will be closed up. He let a lot of my energy policies go through because energy was starting under his what they were doing starting to go up so high so he let he let a lot of them continue including the drilling because the prices were going so high for gasoline and energy and now he comes out and he actually says i guess with a straight face but i'm not sure he knows what he's saying anyway uh that it was nine percent under trump so at least the new york post and i hear the wall street journal and a couple of others did correct it now it was 1.4 it was actually lower than that we included everything they didn't include everything they took some of the worst categories and didn't include them in the nine percent so his nine percent is actually much higher than that but it's a tax over a four-year period of more than 50 percent and I call it the inflation tax, the Biden inflation inflation tax. Now, here's another one that just came out, Axios. No friend of mine. They say that Biden's big donors fume over Israel criticism. Biden's donors are the ones that are against Israel. So somehow, maybe those people Jewish people that vote for Democrats who are voting for Biden, if they look at what they're doing, the donors to Biden are against Israel, very much and vehemently against Israel. They hate Israel. And that's why Biden hates Israel, because he goes with his donors. 
and he always has, so they ought to start thinking about that. And now you have the lawfare implosion. This is the Wall Street Journal. Kim Strassel is a great reporter. They ought to read this story because it talks about what's going on here. What's going on here is a disgrace. Jonathan Turley just came out. This case is becoming legally obscene. It's, uh, I mean, the, the, the articles are unbelievable. And I'd hand you the articles, but the problem is I'm not allowed to. Because if anything's mentioned against certain people, and you know who they are, certain people, anything's even mentioned, he wants to put me in jail. And that could happen one day, and I'd be very proud to go to jail for our Constitution. Because what he's doing is so unconstitutional. There's never been anything like it. This is story after story right here. Look at this. One after another. And this is over the last two days. Story after story. Hannity, big story. They're all big. Dershowitz, Jonathan Turley, Andrew McCarthy, Greg Jarrett. They've all been amazing. They're not friends. Nobody's friends. They're writing stories. They've never seen anything like that. They've never seen anything like what's going on today in this court is a very dark day for New York City, New York State, and it's a very dark day for our nation. And in the meantime, I can't be out campaigning. They could have brought it, I told you, seven years ago. They could have brought it if they were to bring it. Remember, everybody turned it down. Southern District turned it down. Washington turned it down. The Federal Election Commission turned it down. And you know who else turned it down? Cy Vance turned it down. Everybody turned it down. And then Bragg came in and he turned it down. And he got very angry, actually, because a man named Pomerantz came out. And uh, what's happening with Pomerantz? Is the pa are the papers looking into that deal? But he got himself into a jam. And so what happened is Bragg turned it down. And then when the election comes along, he said, well, let's go. But it's not a case that's been turned down. Remember this. It's a federal case. They all turned it down. And he's bringing it into the state or the city, I guess. Look, he's a district attorney where crime is rampant, violent crime is all over the place, and the city's going to hell. And they have many prosecutors in there. I, I couldn't even count them. It looked, it looked to me like they had, certainly they have had more than 20 prosecutors sitting there over the fact that somebody paid a lawyer and in paying the lawyer so it was a legal expense that somebody happened to be me i didn't do the bookkeeping i didn't even know about it but a very good bookkeeper marked a legal expense down as a legal expense they didn't call it construction they didn't call it a building something or concrete or electrical they called, very simply, a legal expense to a lawyer. He was a lawyer, not a fixer, he was a lawyer. Legal expense to a lawyer, they called it legal expense. They said it was marked incorrectly. What else would you call it? It's a legal fee or a legal expense, and we called it a legal expense. This is what the case is about. And it's not about all of the other stuff that you've been seeing because we're using that to attempt, it's had no impact because it's so old, attempt to uh, do something to me politically. But the good news is the people understand that our poll numbers are the highest they've ever been. And it's ridiculous that I'm not gonna be out campaigning for another week or two as these thugs, these corrupt thugs, and that includes the judge, he should throw this case out. This case should go no further. Every legal expert, the ones I named and many more, Calabrese, another one, many of them, they came out and they said this case should not go forward. It's not a case. There's no crime. There is no crime. And they failed to show a crime. This is election interference. It all comes out of Washington. They have their reps here. You know, they have their reps here. I'm sure you know that. But this all comes out of Washington. It's to damage crooked Joe Biden's political opponent. It happens to be me. 
And we're leading big in the polls, and the American people get it. It's a scam. So tomorrow, we're doing a big rally, and it's going to be in Wildwood, New Jersey. We're going for the state of New Jersey. We think we can win New Jersey, and we think we can win a lot, because what's happening in our country is horrible. Between inflation and the horrible economy, and the only reason, by the way, the stock market goes up is that I'm leading in all the polls. If I weren't leading, the stock market would be way down. But I'm leading, and based on the fact that I'm leading, the stock market is up. And if I didn't win, you would have a crash like 1929. Mark my words, I've been right about everything. If I didn't win, you would have a crash like the crash of 1929, because the people that are running our government right now are corrupt and incompetent. Thank you very much, everybody.